Mr. Speaker, the private sponsor refugee program uses donations from Canadians to support refugees, which means that we don't need to rely solely on taxpayers to help those who are in need. The Prime Minister's weekend tweet did absolutely nothing to explain his decision to prevent privately sponsored refugees from being admitted to Canada this year. So with over 45,000 PSR applications in the queue, why is the Prime Minister limiting the generosity of private sponsorship groups and shifting the responsibility solely to taxpayers? Honourable Minister of Immigration. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm, I'm glad the Honourable Member asked that question because it gives me an opportunity to clarify some of the confusion around this. Uh, 2016 was an unprecedented year for our country. We welcomed more than 40,000 Syrian refugees from November 4, 2015, and we're proud of that, of that record, Mr. Speaker. Wait times for privately sponsored refugees continue to balloon under the previous government. We intend to take action against that. Our immigration levels in 2017 create 16,000 room allocations for privately sponsored refugees, which is triple what the previous government created under the administration. Calgary knows Hill. Is so welcoming to refugees. Why, since the motion around Yazidi genocide victims was passed in October, has this uh, government admitted exactly zero Yazidis yeah. to yeah. Canada? So, Mr. Speaker, my question is very simple. If this government truly supports this motion, why did the Prime Minister dodge this question? How many Yazidis are they bringing to Canada, and will they meet the timeline associated with the motion? Honourable yeah. Minister of Immigration. Mr. Speaker, our government has been recognized widely as being a great government for welcoming and creating and resettling refugees from across the world. We are committed and proud of the fact that all members in this House supported the res resettlement of victims and survivors of Daesh. We have a plan that is underway. Our operation is underway. We are committed to meet that goal and we will be providing an update to this House in the near future.